Howdy you guys, this tutorial is going to walk you through creating a scatter plot in Desmos. So you have a table, you want to create a scatter plot in Desmos, and then I'm going to show you how to run a linear regression, okay, based on that table. So the first thing you need to do is over on the left hand side, click the add item button, it's a plus sign, and go down to table and then create your table. So you have X sub one and a Y sub one. Remember we talked about this um, last semester where that, that sub one is just the label. Okay, so this is basically saying this is the first table that we have. That's why it has a subscript of one. Okay, if I added another table, which I can show you, let me do this partially complete. Let me add another table you'll see that the subscripts turn into two. So those are just labels, okay? So we know our X's are our inputs and our Y's are our outputs. So let me go ahead and just create this table. I'm just kind of doing it random. Okay, and you can see I have a um, scatter plot that's coming down here. So I wanna know I want to know some information about this. I want to be able to make some predictions based on this scatter plot. And I should probably add, let me add one more point. There we go. Okay. So I want to make some predictions based on this scatter plot. And so what I need to be able to do is I need to run a linear regression, which means I'm going to be finding the line of best fit. Okay, and we talked about this um, the other day where you could do that by hand, right? But you're not going to get the exact same answer as me. So we're going to let Desmos, we're going to let technology do it for us. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to go to the add item button. So once you create your table, go back to the add item button. It's not going to delete your table. It's just going to let you add something in addition. And instead of going to table, this time we're going to add an expression, like an equation. Okay, and if we are running a linear regression, we're going to start with our linear equation. Okay, but this is not linear, right? These scatter plot points are not all in a straight line, so this is not linear. So what we're doing is we're trying to find that equation that goes in the middle of them, but it's not the exact equation of the line, so it's not equal. We're gonna use the symbol that means approximate. So that symbol, we're gonna hold down our shift button on the left-hand side of your keyboard, or actually either shift would work. And then the key above the tab has the tilde, the little squiggly line, you're gonna hold down shift and click that button. So that symbol means approximate, about. So we are looking for a line that fits this data, not perfectly. That's why we took away the equal sign. That's why we put in the approximate sign, okay? But there's still something else I need to do. So remember when I was talking about there were labels up here, it was X sub one and Y sub one. If this equation right here goes with that, I need to label my X and my Y the same way. So I need to label the Y as Y sub one. All you have to do is put the one after the Y, it automatically makes it a subscript for you. Same thing with the X. All I have to do is go after the X and put the one and it will label it for me. So you notice as soon as I labeled both of those, I got some information here, okay? And we don't know what all this means yet. We haven't learned what R squared and R mean yet. We are gonna learn that this year, okay? But what we're gonna focus on today is the parameters down at the bottom. Okay, so it gives me M. Well, we know M is slope, right? And I know this is gonna be kind of sloppy, so sorry. So we know M is slope. So in, in the equation, instead of plugging in M, I can plug in this slope. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you guys to round it on your assignment. 
Okay, instead of plugging in B, which is the y-intercept, that's where it's crossing your y-axis, I can plug in that number I see right there. So a minus 3.15385. And all of a sudden, using technology, I just wrote the line of best fit. If you use Desmos, yours will be exactly like this. So what we did right there is we did a linear regression to get our line of best fit, or sometimes we call it a regression line. So now what we can do is we can take this formula or this equation, and we can use it to predict the output, the y, or maybe the input, the x. Okay, so let me do that one more time. Okay, so let me get rid of this. Sorry, there we go. Okay, so you're trying to add a scatter plot graph. So you, that means you have a table. So we're gonna insert the information from the table. We're gonna go to add item over here on the left, and then we're gonna go to table. So you can type in all of your information. Okay, made that up off the top of my head. All right, so I can see the scatter plot down here. It looks like it has a negative trend, meaning it's going down, it's decreasing, right? As the X gets bigger, the Y is decreasing. But how do we do a linear regression? We want to run a linear regression on this because we want to find the line of best fit. We don't want to just find it by hand. We want to use technology to find it, okay? So we're going to go to back to add an item. We're going to go to expression. And you don't always have to do it like this. I'm just doing like this for teaching purposes. So this would be the equation for a linear function, right? Or any linear line, okay? Um, but that's not what we have here. These scatter points, these scatter plots down here, they don't make a straight line, okay? We're trying to find a line that would be in the center of all that data. So instead of using an equal sign, we're going to use the approximate symbol just for running the linear regression. Okay. Well, if you're sitting here and you're like, wait, why didn't all that information pop up? Why don't I see the M? Why don't I see the B? It's because we're not done. We have to label it the way it was labeled in the table. So it was X sub 1 and Y sub one. As soon as you do that, you'll see your information. Now you can build the equation of the line. So instead of y equals mx plus b, we can actually plug in what we know. We know the m. It's negative two point, I'm going to round this time, 2.9. x plus 24.4. Okay, takes a little bit of time to get used to. You're using technology. In the end, I think you'll like it because you don't have to think about uh, is this exactly in the middle or not. But obviously, you have.